and dial down on the pit tap, the roll pitch rate, I'm dialing it down to 50 for Nick. And I resave that. And disconnect. Okay, after that test flight, I'm going to come in and I want to tweak with the loop time to see if I can get it even further locked in. So where do we end up with, yeah, roll pitch rate 50, that might still be a little bit much for uh, Nick, but I'm not sure, so he's going to take a look at that. Yaw is pretty good. So to the CLI, we're going to set loop time to 2,000 from 20. 400. So that's a 2.0 mil millisecond loop time going from 2.4. So set that, save it. Okay, so with that change of the loop time down to 2000, I noticed a lot of shake at the end of an uh, acrobatic maneuver like a roll, which would normally mean you need to increase your uh, D. So I'm going to try to increase the D and see if it corrects it. Otherwise, I'm going to back off the loop time because it could mean that um, the flight controller is is sending changes faster than these ESCs can handle at the moment. Um, so we're going to go from 23, um, let's try 28. So we'll bump at 5. Save. Disconnect. Okay guys, so increasing the D did help help with the shakes a lot. So I'm it didn't take them totally out, so I'm gonna go even a little bit further. Um I'm gonna try 31. There's still a little bit of shake there. I'm going to try adjusting the D component a little bit further. I'll try 35. Need more. Okay, so this is where I ended up, guys, with the loop time 2000, and I'm go to the pit tab. Alright, clean flight's going to reboot. And these are the pits that I ended up with. Uh, the big change was bumping the derivative up to 35 to take those shapes out. Uh, 
it rolls and does flips uh, like it's on rails. So I'm pretty happy with this setup. It's the first time I've ever used these spider ESCs and they're, they're pretty sick. Thanks for watching.